Hey guys, this is your host Dandelion. You're watching episode six of Underground Paparazzi featuring two mechs of Rhymefest LA, all brought to you by Rags the Bear Productions. What's up, Tumex? Thank you for being on the show tonight. Congratulations on the one-year anniversary of the show. And I know you've been doing a lot of promoting for the one-year anniversary show, and it's just an absolute honor for you to be here with us tonight. Well, thank you for having us. Well, we're super excited. Uh, when, you know, the one-year anniversary of Ryan Fest LA is going down uh, this Saturday, so, you know, we're super excited. And uh, thank you for coming out and talking to you. Can you explain to our viewers what exactly is Rhymefest? Uh, Rhymefest LA is a is basically a concert series that uh, a couple friends of mine, my homie Scooby and uh, my homie Doogie and some other cats along with myself, conceptualized a, a like a pure underground hip hop fest, uh, one that would feature artists from New York and all over the country and uh, artists from here in LA. And uh, we just try to keep a, a whole style to that concert series compared to like some of the other things that we do. And it's strictly straightforward classic hip hop, whether old school or new school artists. We just keep it pure bim, boom bap, pure underdog. Traded hip hop, pure DJing, pure b boying, pure you know, graffiti, and just stay true to the original forms of the culture. So, we've been having a lot of success. This is our fifth Rhyme Fest in, in one calendar year and uh, our one year anniversary. So, we're excited. We've got, we got a crazy, crazy set coming up from uh, the legendary Karis one from Boogie Down Productions. He's doing a two hour set, which is you know, he, he's probably the best, the number one MC in the planet. So, to have a you know, Know, to have the greatest rapper alive probably you know doing a two hour set is an amazing thing that definitely sounds like a great time yeah it's gonna be good I mean it's it's pure hip hop and for people that that love you know the spirit of, of what things kind of were like with pay dues and rock the bells festival and like all these kind of like real pure hip hop things you know we're, we're here in LA we're really spoiled we get a lot of we get everything we get every show that comes out so you know this is pure unadulterated hip hop and uh, you know Rhyme Fest LA we go real hard you know we go radio ads you know magazines ads and we promote hard so you know we just try to let people know that pure hip hop if you want it in its purest form it is available at this show I also waste we're some do gooders with the filtration we're Mexican Islander Euro African Asian celebrate creator before creation division we're erasing patiently taking all day waiting for the complications the seats and the nations to do as we've done replacement killers love a good fight a good night kiss Takes the queen but protects the king's life While worldwide peace is just a figment And now is where we're living We can hold on to the vision Do our ancestors right behind us So who's involved in Rhymefest And how'd you guys all get started? Um, basically they, they approached me My homie Scooby and my homie uh, Doogie After uh, seeing uh, that I throw these little smaller shows I, I have a couple brands myself But once a year in August I throw a festival called the Mind Cloud or Music Fest And I've thrown these other festivals called Sun God Sons. I got a new one called Word Murder. I just throw little shows and stuff. So my homie Scooby, they came at me and they were like, man, we want you to be the face of this pure, you know, pure true to hip hop festival. And, you know, ever since November of last year, we, we, you know, they did the first one, which was Karis One and the Visionaries. The second one was Raekwon and Chef from Wu-Tang Clan. The third one was uh, Organized Confusion, Pharaoh Watch and Prince Paul. And then the last one was Hieroglyphics in Slum Village. And then this one, we return to the, you know, to the Grandmaster, you know, Karis one. So, yeah, we're just, they, that's how we, they already had a concept that came to me. They were like, we want you to be the face of it. And then they just showed me that they were really about it. You know, they really put their money where their mouth is. They, they go hard and, and they, you know, a lot of great groups have already played Rhymefest in the first year. Dilated Peoples, People Under the Stairs, 
you know, brand new beings. All, all, I mean, groups from the East Coast, the Far Eye. You know, we bring back groups that even are classic underground West Coast groups that prop maybe haven't played shows in a while or haven't put out a like a big label album in years. Like we, we're looking for like the greatest East and West Coast like underground hip hop acts, and we're calling them up and showing them respect and letting them know that we we, we still you know give a fuck about them. And so you know, true, you know, we're just showcasing true talent. So it's good. It's a good thing. Definitely sh all about like showing the love. We're all about honoring hip hop in its in its in its fullest form because there's a there's a generation from the 80s and the 90s and even the early 2000s that now and now that we're in you know 2014 a lot of these kids because of the new social media and the new way of being out there now on YouTube and stuff like that they're not necessarily exposed to the classic artists they may be exposed to the Nas and the De La Soul and certain big artists that they that are like Tribe Called Quest and big things that are lucky enough to be out there but there's a whole 15 to 25 years of really really classic east and west coast artists and, and artists in the middle of the country everywhere that are that are that are very relevant to us because we still care about freestyle fellowship we still care about Dell the fuck you safe we still care about um you know Karis one we still care about ultra magnetic mcs and things that came out that even though they're not commercially viable at this moment they were like really like pillars of, of underground hip-hop and so like a lot of these groups that are out now the Kendrick Lamar's and all that kind of stuff they they don't you know somebody laid that foundation for them and at Ryan Fest LA we kind of try to showcase that we try to showcase like Haiku de Taz playing and that's free, two members of Freestyle Fellowship and Abrud and you know Freestyle Fellowship and Abrud are like kind of like some of the most important building block rappers in the LA underground along with the far side and the hieroglyphics and all that they influence the Kendrick Lamars they influence these people the M&M's they influence Bone Thugs and Harmony they influence all these groups that are Kanye West all these groups that are out here winning Grammys and making big moves Odd Future and all that shit those groups wouldn't be nowhere without some of the groups that we showcase on our on our festival so we like to show them honor respect and let them play for the people that still love them even if they're not like hot with some new single like we don't give a fuck about that we just we're looking for the greatest hip hop groups of all time and we're showing them respect and we mix it in with new young and up and coming artists you know, so it's, it's a good mix been working <laughs> So I know Rhymefest has only been around for a year, but you guys have such a huge following. What are you doing differently from other promoters that it's allowing you to reach the level of success? Um, I just think that, like, you know, like I said, we, we just kind of, right off the top, Rhymefest LA had like a mission statement. So right off the top, we were like, this festival, I mean, LA is so progressive with its hip hop. There's trap music and dubstep and, you know what I mean, old school, new school, emo shit. There's all kind of hip hop. I mean, there's like a hundred different styles. We, uh, we, we kind of set a mission statement right off the top with the Karis One Visionary Show that, that we were gonna stick this particular festival, we're gonna stick to pure unadulterated hip hop in its classic form, sample based rap, you know, DJing, rapping, just, you know, even even on this next show, Saturday, we have an artist from LA, one of our favorite artists, his name is No Can Do, and he's one of the hottest rappers in the game, and he's kind of got a, a foot into like the progressive hip hop, dubstep, he, you know, he's the host of the Low End Theory on Wednesday nights, which is kind of like LA's, one of LA's most progressive music clubs and stuff. So he's even doing, you know, even though it's no can do, and he's constantly, you know, fucking with all the new EDM and electronic music, he's like, no, I'm doing a hip hop set. You know, we're like, people haven't seen a hip hop set from no can do in five years. So it's like, he's like, even like, no, nah, I'm going straight hip hop on this. And it was like, that's the case. Like we, we try to book artists. There's tons of artists in LA that are hip hop that are really great and they're doing progressive music you know I, t I personally have bands and touch all kind of other you know music that's not pure hip-hop myself I got tons of albums that are 
different rock and all this shit. But it's like for that particular festival, we're just trying to give the the the, the person that follows us that night, of, that Saturday night of I'm listening to pure hip hop, which. There's a lot of promoters and a lot of clubs in LA. Respect to all the promoters out there that that are doing pure hip hop. We're just doing it on a level where, you know, we're going for it. Like we're, you know, we're like Rick on the chef. We're, you know, try to get Mad Lib. Let's go. You know, dilated people. Let's go. You know, Jurassic Five. Like, you know, like we're not afraid to ask. You know, these artists that we've loved, you know, that and so we're just out there trying to get like our favorite groups from that are, you know, digital underground. We're trying to like just get people that we love and, and are and think are the greatest hip hop groups to give people that experience of you know, plus the youth, you know, they need they need to hear what pure hip hop sounds like on a night that's not trappy or not on some other stuff. Which is there's nothing wrong with that kind of stuff too. But it's just like this night is meant for that. It's, it's like, it makes people want to like break dance. It makes people remember why they, they like the actual culture, that original pure pure culture. So I think that's why we're winning with this festival and why it's working. As long as we stay true to that template, then, then the people will be, you know, we learned a lot of lessons from, let's say, Guerrilla Union with, with Rock the Bells and Pay Dues. You know, we've seen that, that for a long time you can't sustain just being real, playing the real shit. So that's where we're at right now. We're on a way smaller level, but we're hoping to be able to throw shows. And actually, we're hoping to take the Rhyme Fest LA brand on tour and have like every year do figure out like these are going to be the four acts that we take on tour and just we've, we've got plans for Ryan Fest Vegas, Ryan Fest San Francisco, you know, there's Ryan, there's gonna be a Ryan Fest IE, Ryan Fest uh, Texas has been inquiring. So we're just trying to figure out how to have a pure unadulterated hip hop brand. It's hard, it's hard to do it because underground rap doesn't sell. So it's hard to like sell that concept to people that are like, well, we could just book you know asap rocky and sell the venue out so i don't you know we believe more in an asap rocky show because the bar is going to sell out it's going to sell you know it's going to be a thousand people than a rap groups that we don't know who they are we don't trust we don't know if it's going to be like that so we're just trying to set a precedent that our brand that when that when you go to a ryan fest la even if you don't know even if you're 19 years old and don't know who these underground artists are by the time you leave you're like damn that was some shit like trust us to curate a show that's gonna be awesome that's it that's pretty cool you know you're definitely um, opening a lot of people's eyes especially you know the younger generations that aren't weren't around you know back in the day that were, would see these artists and groups um, so it's definitely that's pretty cool yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean you know the youth you can't blame the youth for not knowing who Karis one or a Trial Clock West is like you grow up and you, everybody grows up in their own time so Ken, the Kendrick Lamars are the Karis ones to the new youth you know what I mean so we just we just want to let them know that you know to respect the architects you know respect their elders when you hear a Kendrick Lamar or somebody like that understand that somebody did that style before them and that there's a reason why that style is dope because somebody did that in respect we created all these genres and these lanes we just created can you tell us some of the artists that are going to be performing at this year's um, Rhyme Fest? Yeah, uh, this Rhyme Fest, which is uh, Saturday, November 29th, at the Ukrainian uh, Cultural Center. It's on Melrose between Vermont and Normandy uh, by LA uh, City College, we call it LACC. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's headlined by Karis One from Boogie Down Productions, legendary MC, like I said, honestly, probably the number one greatest, in my book, the number one MC, the number one rapper in the history of hip hop. I mean, more than, with all due respect to Biggie, Pog, L, Cool J, all these great rappers, you know, Karis One is, to this day, from the moment he was like 16 years old, to this day, can, is probably like just the most credible and the most relevant rapper in, in, on earth. So to have Karis One playing a two hour set, it's just it's a great honor. So we have Karis One, and then we also have supporting, we have 
High Coup d'Etat, which, which I said is Micah 9 and AC Alone from a legendary group called the Freestyle Fellowship, my favorite rap group on earth, and Abstract Root from Abstract Root and Tribe Unique, representing LA, representing Down the Street, Crenshaw, uh, the Good Life Project Load. And we also have, from Oxnard, California, we have Wild Child and DJ Roams from the, a group called the Loop Pack, which is a group that also featured Madly, who's kind of like one of the greatest hip hop producers, Quasimodo and all that stuff. You know, they, you know, Wild Child and, and Roams are blessing us and they're going to be playing old loop pack stuff and stuff like that so that's like man like, a lot of people haven't seen the loop pack loop pack hasn't even been a group for 10 years so we're bringing groups back from like not retirement but just we're like bringing groups back from the dead kind of like haven't played you know and so people are geeking on that you know i mean to get to hear loop pack music bumping with a thousand people like you know what i mean that's that shit is dope and then we also have uh we have no can do like i said doing a hip-hop set and then the, the last performance the, the, the first performance of the night oh we also have planet asia i'm tripping shit we got planet asia from gold chain music i can't sleep on the god i went on tour with planet asia um he's he's an amazing rapper from fresno california gold chain music i mean he works with psycho realm dilated but fuck that he's a fucking monster rapper and shit all on his own him and his crew are fucking he's probably one of the most underrated rappers in california and and uh, he's a fucking monster. Like, if you want to see motherfuckers rap their asses off, Planet Asians, he's going to come with a chip on his shoulder to try to be the best rapper of the house. He's like, Karis one? Fuck that. I'm going to fucking try to be harder than the God. You know what I mean? So, Planet Asia. And then the last thing is, uh, there's, a, there's this community called the Cypher Effect. I don't know if you've heard of it, but they basically film all these incredible, they get gather up MCs and they do freestyle sessions and Cypher stuff. They're called the Cypher Effect. Anyway, they're doing a live 30 minute cypher effect where basically a DJ plays a beat and about 10 to 15 cypher effect veterans from their organization good ass rappers Gavlin and too many to name I mean a wino a bunch of cats they're all coming out and they're basically gonna have a 30 minute freestyle session and that's kind of like the kickoff of the show so that's kind of like representing the new generation of cats that are out there putting all these new kids out there putting out records and doing a lot of good shit so that's pretty much this year's set we usually have about eight to ten bands so we figure we got about five or six bands this year so it's this one so it's like we try to cover all bases you know what i mean well that's really cool it sounds like there's gonna be a, a lot of fun going on saturday and uh yeah, definitely a lot a lot of different things for a lot of different people you know yeah you guys should definitely come out and uh you know shoot some footage and stuff and, and be out there and uh yeah it's a i mean it's a hip-hop is like i mean it's just it's a good thing to bring your kids or bring young people or bring your homies that don't know about the real shit you know it's a lesson in real hip-hop so people walk away usually like oh okay fuck i was Wow, somebody spinning records all night? That was amazing. Oh, like, cool, break dancing? Like, you know, this not, it ain't shit you see in the movie. It's not a clip from 85. It's like, this is the, there's still people that live and die hip hop to in its purest form. We, we're, hip hop is 40 years old now, so your father and your mom could be a break dancer or a DJ or a graph artist or a rapper. So we live in a new generation where the youth are actually completely engulfed in hip hop. So, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're proud of what we've done so far, and, and Saturday will be no different from any of the other shows. It's, it's going to be dope. Sounds like a great night. viewers get um, more info and tickets on Rhymefest? Um, tickets will be available at, at rhymefestla.com and uh, or if not you can for this event as of right now I think it still hasn't sold out so you can the Ukrainian holds like I mean we put like 1400 people in there even so it says it holds a thousand but we put like 1400 people in there so you know just come out to the show it's Saturday night it's on Melrose right in the heart of LA and uh, I mean there's already a thousand people there, man. You want to show up and, and, and make a crack. It's going to be out of control. But uh, RhymeFestLA.com, uh, GCS, Pomona, B-Side Shop, Covina. There's a lot of spots. You can you can, you can can find it on the internet. But uh, yeah, just come out and uh, support the brand. You guys should definitely check that out. I got the lyrical stamina. I had 
to stop for these three cameras. Right now, y'all can that never see, but I'm talking to my kids in 2023. This is the future me, not the loser me. Let me tell you right now, he just recorded how I said it. And you better record it, because I'm going to forget it. Hey, I'm Daniela, your host. You've been watching Underground Paparazzi featuring Two Max of Rhymefest LA, brought to you by Rags the Bear Productions. Thank you for tuning in. Come into what I'm into, slip into darkness and listen. I rhyme on you mental. Never I fought to halt to halt to my ulterior assault to inferior thoughts of feet. In the process, the party we will wobble, but it don't fall down and it won't stall now. Beware, the boy's bad at the seven when the lights go click. My mic injects nitro into my bloodstream. I get to gushing, cold crushing lyrics so much. Reach out and touch things unexplored. From hits to flops that plummet, the synopsis is we rock this shit day and night. But it gets intense to extents of pleasure, unmeasurable when I'm laying pipe.